Are you ready to take off? You, this is you. Are you ready for your hour of pencil power? Woo! Are you ready? Are you ready to fly with pencil power? Yeah! Woo! There seems to be a little delay here. Hey, Adrian, how are you? Hello, North and South. So we are down to our last three episodes of our hour of pencil power. Our last three episodes, it's been a wonderful run of almost 70 episodes, but we're transitioning into uh, our virtual summer camp. Hi, Diane. Hi, thank you, Diane. Thank you for your um, all your volunteer help and for other volunteers, for uh, Richard and for uh, Patricia and the other uh, wonderful volunteers that helped us out so much. Thank you guys so much for making this past 70 days, exciting, creative, inspiring, and really fun. So thank you guys very much. I hope you guys all uh, sign up for my Zoom-based. We're going to do a Zoom-based uh, virtual art camp. It's going to be awesome. Hope you guys join me on that. I hope you all have a copy of my You Can Draw in 30 Days book. I hope you have one of them. I hope you have 10 of these. It's, um, it's a wonderful book. A little sneak peek for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're drawing elephants. We're going to draw these guys tomorrow. This was off a shampoo bottle. Uh, this is the uh, uh, African elephant. Actually, this I think this is African, and that's the Indian elephant, and this is a big elephant's butt. We might even draw the whole herd of stomping. We might draw like a, a version of Dumbo, too. These are different, uh, different sketches I have. So that's tomorrow. Tomorrow we're drawing... Dumbo. Today we're going to draw a, collect a castle. Fuses. Uh, I have all these printouts, so I'll talk about these. But I wanted to show you guys um, these drawings. Now, this was a school assembly I did last week. I did the quick drawing, and then I spent another two hours doing the backgrounds. I just was really into doing the backgrounds yesterday. And this was uh, this is the the finished one of last uh, week's. Uh, pencil power hour of uh, our pencil power the pencil sharp pencil doggy do you guys love it do you love it isn't that fun and then uh this was the robots and bunny rabbits with mario's minute right here and I, this this was uh inspired by watching those things on those videos on youtube um of the uh the fellow who with a with a stick like a shovel but it's a, it's a stick with a it's like a curving blade on the end, um, a slight curve. But he, I don't know if you've seen these. They're amazing. I put, I keep forwarding them on my Facebook page. But he, he uh, starts digging in the Amazon jungle. And all he has is this, uh, uh, this tiny little shovel, a stick knife, and he has a clay ceramic pot. And between the two, those two items, and he takes, a, I don't know, a couple weeks, and he digs out these amazing, intricate underground pools and um, uh, almost like uh, chapels, like with candles and arches. And it's all with, a sh with just a little shovel. Just all by, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's so amazing. And uh, here's another one. This was our frog one. Did you guys see that one? You did these four drawings, and then I added a lot more lily pads, and I did the background. I had a, had a fun time with that. And then there's the final version of the uh, brain bob with the uh, pelican group and the um, gingerbread man. So um, that was really cool. So today, today, now this hopefully the, what this will do this will get you motivated to add extras to your lesson after you and I finish after the hour. And even if you go back through all the seventy days that we've done this together. You can work in contrast and value and details and just neat textures to the background, okay? I just wanted to show you that, you guys. How How is the a audio video, guys? How is the AV? Now, these are going to stay on YouTube, and these will stay on Facebook for a uh, few more months, okay? If you guys want to want to see those recordings again, if you haven't seen them. All right, let's get going. We're going to draw castles today. We're going to draw... Uh, we're going to start with this castle. We're going to start with this castle right here. And this castle is uh, from 14th century. This castle, my, my printer cut off the picture here. So that's the image of it. 
this this was from 14th century. It's in East Sussex, England. Isn't that cool? So we're going to draw that one castle. And then the next castle we we're going to draw is this one. Now, this is from the medieval days. This old medieval castle. It's so cool. Again, my, my printer cuts off the top of them. But this was built a thousand, almost a thousand or 980 years ago. No, 880 years ago. No, 900 years ago. That's right. 1120. Uh, AD 1120 in Al, Al, Alcazar de Zegueya, Spain. Sejovia. Al, Al, you know Alcazar of Sejovia. Isn't that awesome? So we're going to do that one. And then this is a... Uh, I'm not sure. I, I I'm not sure what castle this is. It's supposed. To, it's in America, but I love this this little castle here. I thought that would be fun. So we're gonna draw three now. I have four in case we have time and space. I've actually been to this castle. This this is New Schweinstein. This is a uh, just. This is what Walt Disney based Cinderella's castle on. Was this castle right here, New Schweinstein Castle? Can you guys see that? So I printed these up, and you guys can get these these ideas. You can get so we start with a blank piece of paper, and let's get ready here. Uh, yeah, I, John, I would, I'd like to do that. Uh, look, okay, look, good job, John. Thank you. All right, John, you uh, you give me a heads up if I need to do any um. Um, monitoring, okay, of the YouTube site. I just want to make sure we don't get any hecklers today. I want it to be a good show. So if we do, I'm just I now I know how to how to report anybody and also how to how to uh, block them. So that's good to know. I didn't know I had that um, access. All right, put a dot in the middle. I just want, I love keeping my comments open for everybody. So everybody, thank you so much for seventy plus days keeping the comment boxes positive and. Uh, basically joyful and inspiring and appropriate. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's go. We're going to draw. I'm going to put four squares like we do. And I'm going to start up here in this first one. And I'm going to start with this guy. I want to start with this castle right here. So let's zoom in on YouTube. Get YouTube right here. Get YouTube first. Get it all situated. Get it focused. I'm going to lay my pencil down so there's something to focus on it. And then I'm going to zoom in on Facebook. And looks good on Facebook. Let me zoom out just a bit, just a bit more. And we have Facebook now on there. All right, we're set, you guys. Now, let's, uh, let me scroll down my comments. And... Uh, uh, it says YouTube's working. I'm getting lots of... Uh, uh, Emma, I'm getting lots of YouTube comments, so it's all working. All right, here we go. Square number one. I got to put my resource up here. I got to put this up here. I'm getting excited. I'm getting ready. I'm going to put this. Here's what we're drawing, this guy right here. So I'm going to start. I think I'm going to fold this so I can see that guy. See, I have a little pup tent. See, I folded it up so I can see it. All right, so right here, I'm going to start the horizon line about right here. All right, so very light, a horizontal, a, a horizon, horizontal line going across. And then I'm going to start right, right about right here in the middle. I want to draw the castle. Oh, these will be the big towers in the middle, okay? And then the towers are going to go up a bit from here. So... I'm, gonna, I'm just kind of using, this is, you're looking straight on this one. This is a one-point perspective, okay? So the center here, this is going to be the center of the focus will be that little doorway right here. And so all the, everything will line up to that point, you see? So I'm going to have the, uh, well, actually, it'll be lined up to the top of the door. I'm going to take, take this kind of walkway right here. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. How is this going to work? Oh, I see what I'm going to do. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have this tower. See, you have to kind of figure it as you go. And then I'm going to draw this tower. Okay, on either side of the door. And then, see, I'm blocking it. I'm sketching it lightly. 
uh hello Rowan. hello guys yeah this is bittersweet that uh this is our last week our last week be before my summer art camps kick in so i'm gonna draw this tower over here there's that big big tower i'm just blocking them in you see looking at my that's what we're gonna draw so i'm just kind of shaping it in i'm using these basic shapes it's all coming from the center line right here and then I'm going to match that line. See, keep it uh, symmetrical. About the same width. I remember when I was drawing the Taj, the uh, uh, in India, the Taj Mahal, and I, I did the straight on view, and it was just so fun. So now I'm going to draw this, this tower over here. About the same height. Okay, you guys getting? Are you with me? All right, good job. Thank you, Rowan. Uh, thank you. I'm looking at the comments on YouTube. Nas NASA is launching his rocket at uh, 4.30 Eastern time, and Mario and I are so excited. I'm just I'm just beside myself. I'm so excited. We're going back to the moon, you guys, and what a perfect time right now as we're kind of, we're, we're all slowly coming out of this uh, crazy uh, two months. Uh, and it gives us such hope and inspiration and just the joy and splendor of NASA's space travel has always, always just got me uh, motivated. It's just so cool. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and draw some of these crannels on top here. And I'm going to I'm going to thicken this up. I want to make a matching. OK, I want to make a matching thickness. So I'm going to draw some crannels up here. Crannels are little arches that. Now, this was built back, uh, you know, in um, what year? Back in 14th century. So it was built 700 years ago. Uh, monster, you can, you can draw a monster at eating a castle if you want. You go for it. You guys go for it. So now I'm going to draw the crannels on, on, this, on this tower here. It has, has a lot more detail, but I'm going to kind of simplify it. And uh, just just for purposes of our little our lesson, just get the general idea. It doesn't have to be exact, you know. You're just trying to get the get the impression that, that there's those crenels. See, it's starting to look like a castle. Uh, you can draw a tower. You can draw. Hey, Robert, how are you doing, Robert? Just uh, Bob Jr. Jr. How are you, uh, Jacqueline? Uh, you send if you have not received your email, check your spam box because we got we got all those emails sent out, Jacqueline. The emails that uh, the folks that won the email, the PDF of the new book, the Hour of Pencil Power. If you didn't know, if you if it still still haven't received it, please send me another email and and just say hey, uh, be be nice, be polite, and say hey, I didn't get my my uh, PDF. Can you resend it? And I'll make sure that we get it sent out. Okay. Thank you for your patience, guys. Thank you for your patience. I will get it to you. I will get it to you. You're going to love it. It's a PDF of the Hour of Pencil Power. It's going to, it's really cool. It is really, really cool. All right. Now, so there was, we're getting a, a good castle here. This is the. Uh, east, this is the East Sus Sussex, England. This is the Bodium Castle, the Bodium Castle. So the, now the the uh, kind of uh, bridge or the walkway, I'm going to do this. That's the top. And I'm going to draw, just freehand this one. And this will be the board. So then this will be the, the top of the bridge. And then I'm going to put some so these are vertical lines here, and they get smaller and smaller as they move up. Okay, there's a couple of these vertical. Uh, see, I'm going to do a draw it lightly first, and then I'll darken it in, okay? So we get this. All right, so now let's darken it in. See, I'm using, see, we're going to draw that roadway. See, see the roadway? The one-point perspective roadway right here going up. Richard Alvin, how are you doing? Thank you, Mr. Richard. For coming back, are you guys? Are you teaching again? The School of Ozarks. Are you back on, uh, Richard? Thank you for all your help. This is our last week, and I want to make sure that all my volunteers know how grateful I am. 
Uh, Richard, I wanted to recruit you to help me. Um, if you have more any time left this summer, we're doing this incredible Saturday, uh, the Saturday special. I don't know if anybody's seen our Saturday or draw Armadus or uh, special with NASA. And then this was last week's special. Richard, I want you to, uh, I, I want, and you too, uh, Diane, and you too, Rowan, and all you, uh, parents out there i'd love you to get get your comments on how we can what works and what can, needs improvement on our draw artemis i don't know if you guys saw this let me show you that. this is every saturday at noon you guys we've done we're doing our fourth episode this saturday with uh, the nasa team artemis mission to the moon we're going back to the moon in 2024 with the next man and the first female it's going to be so cool so there's episode two, there's episode three. Episode one was the Orion space capsule. And uh, I'm looking for some some parents to watch the show and then to give me feedback on how what's working wonderfully and what could use improvement. We want to just make it such a great show. We have, we're going to do 10 episodes total, maybe, maybe 13, but for sure 10 episodes. And we're on episode four. So I'm just enjoying the heck out of the process. The collaboration with these genius NASA artists and educators and engineers has been just extraordinary. What, what a neat opportunity for Mario and I. So I'm just going to put some of these fence posts here. I'm, I'm not. You don't have to draw all the detail. Just, just get the idea. Here's one point perspective. Right, we talked about this on several lessons, and uh, these. Fence posts come down. They get closer and closer as they go down toward the, the opening. All right. Uh, this is great. Now, I'm going to put, there's very light. There's these, these uh, wood slats going across here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Look, mine are kind of wiggly and shaky. It doesn't matter. We can clean that up later. Uh, you, you notice that Commander Mark's original jumpsuit was very similar to the new Artemis suit. Even the color. Oh, well, because I based it on the Apollo program. I based Commander Mark suit on the Apollo program. But I have to say, I was the first guy to wear uh, to wear headsets on a TV show before all the rock stars wore them on stage. Um, I, I agree with you. The Artemis suit needs more pencils. You're right. All right. Well, let's. I'm going to go ahead and darken in the detail. I'm going to draw the archway. And then there's a there's like a, a a pattern right above the there's like a like an embedded arch. I'm going to put more detail in now. Now I see up here there's just a few little windows. I know that this is going to be dark. This is fun. Now we just take our pencil. We start drawing some detail here, and I'll add some shading to it. But up here I want to put there's like uh, all these these like um, there's like these these uh buttresses up here right these are one two so there's like three big buttresses up here and i'm going to put the three big they, they, they look like little windows but they're 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 like little supports in the castle doesn't have to be perfect and we'll just darken those in and we'll darken these in i'm going to add more detail later on but we're going to get you through the first part of this. Then we're we'll darken a little bit underneath here. Isn't this fun, you guys? We're drawing castles. This is my source. I'm looking at that one. I'm getting ideas. And you see that there's just a few windows. So I'm going to put one window right here, one window there. And then th this window does it doesn't make it's not really exact. Well, actually. Yep, it's not it, it's it's not exact at all. They just happen to be in the same. Now this one has a window right here, and this is just really weird. They just have a few windows, and there's a window right here, off center, and then over here there's a window right here, there's a window right here, and then there's a window down here. These are what the, the archers, the the arrow. The guys look out from the arrows, you know, when they're under siege. This one looks like it only has two windows. It has one over here and the one a little bit higher up just above it. Isn't that interesting? Okay. And then um, I'm going to draw 
This is like the the water. There's a moat. This is back when they really actually had moats around it. And um, I'll darken in all this background later. Or you can do it right now if you want. I'm going to make it all. Uh, I'll make it all dark back behind there. Make it stand out from the background. And I'll, I'll, I'll put a lot more detail in that later on, as you see. But go ahead and darken it in. Isn't that fun, you guys? And uh, let's shade it now. I'm going to put a little shading on this one. I'm going to shade it here. I'm going to shade it here on the left side. I'll shade it on the side here of the castle. And you darken in all the detail. You guys having fun? I could spend two hours on this one, but I'll let, I'll let you add all the extra details. All right, I'm I'm looking at my uh, uh, I could do it, Mark. As I'm a teacher, and you're like, oh, wonderful. Uh, I'm looking at the comments here, Emma. I love your comments from Scotland. Oh, Emma, thank you very much. I would love your email uh, critique of the show, Emma from Scotland. I would love it. Be, here's my email address, Mark at MarkKistler.com. Everybody, please, 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 this is my last week, so I want to remind you, please follow me on Instagram. I have a wonderful catalog of all the drawings I've done, all 70 of these Howard Pencil Powers. Also, please follow me on YouTube. Don't forget, you can watch my show on Amazon Prime, The Imagination Station. And I want to thank you guys who have, who have uh, taken the time and your resources to support me and signed up for Draw 3D. Thank you so much, Attitude of Gratitude. Please, if you haven't signed up yet, be sure to, to be sure to sign up right here. Um, and a bonus to that is uh, my my summer art camp uh, coming up. It's at my virtual summer camp. I'm so excited. I hope you guys go to my website at markkissler.com. And I hope, I hope, I hope that you sign up for my summer art camp my virtual summer art camp and i think a few have already done it remember i have all these different weeks all these different weeks i have the week and coming up next week my week in india which is 9 30 p.m in texas i've got my eastern standard time week week three i have central time week four central time it's only 99 dollars for the whole family for as many hours as you want to draw, I'll be on four hours a day in the United States and I'll uh, for domestic, and I'll be on three hours a day for international. Eastern Europe for Dubai, Ukraine, and Russia, Pacific Standard Time. I have a full day visual arts camps here. What's well, 9 o'clock to 4 o'clock Central Time, and we're going to have drama and music and singing and uh, claymation and puppetry. This one's an amazing week, July 13th. July uh, 27th, week nine, is British time zone, Germany and Rome and Vienna and all the uh, European countries. Uh, August 10th is my Australian time zone right here. This is going to be, um, this will be about 7.30 central time in, in uh, the United States. So I'm really excited. A whole week of virtual summer camp. Thank you for signing up for my Draw 3D. Uh, you guys are just so great. And then so many of you have have uh, helped me out with my GoFundMe. I appreciate that. If if what uh if what if if you have enjoyed these lessons and if you have found value in these lessons and if these lessons have helped you uh stay creative and stay positive, well I would really, really appreciate your support. It really helps us keep our lights on and um, you know, this is how how we're uh, trying to replace a small bit of the the business income that we uh, we had. You know, five months, six months canceled of all my touring and all my teaching and real real person. So it's I appreciate it, guys, very very much. Thank you, thank you, the attitude of gratitude, man. Right there, uh, uh, Diane's going to post the uh, GoFundMe. Thank you so much. We've had people donate $5. We've had people donate $100. We had one donation of $2,000. Thank you so much for that. It really, really helped us make our dream come true of keeping this going for so many months. So uh, thanks. I'm going to shade the side here. Now I'm going to use my Stompy. And I'm going to blend it. And 
just add now the back. I'm going to value the back there. Isn't that cool, you guys? This whole area here. You see? Didn't we have fun on that one? This is going to be a really fun one to add lots more detail. So I'll leave it there, and I'll let you, I'll let you guys add more detail to that one. That's our Bodium Castle. You guys ready for the next drawing now? Let's move on to our next one. And square number two. Now this one we're going to be using... Um, this one we're going to be using the, the full the full page here. So let's get our resource for this one. And here's, here it is. This is our, we're going to draw this guy right there. This castle up on the, on the hills with all the roadway. So it's going to be really, really cool. Really cool. Okay. So that's what we're going to draw. The Alcazar of Sejovia. You guys ready? All right. So I'm going to start this one. Um, I'm going to kind of layer it up. So th this is going to be where, uh, this, this will be the top of the cliff about right here. So let me see. I'm going to look at my sketch. All right. So this will be the top of the cliff here. See right here. This is this line right here. See this line. I'm going to start here. I'm going to block in. I'm going to put a block in a block. I'm going to, I'm going to block it in first. All right. So this is the top of the cliff. That's going to be our cliff. Coming out over here. So then we come in just a bit. So this is going to be the next layer. So that's going to be kind of the ramp that starts it off, right? It comes across here. It comes down. And let me see here. I think this is going to be a little bit longer. All right, you guys, can you see it? I'm just sketching here. I'm going to make that a little bit longer. I'm going to slant this down, and then this goes over, and then it comes down. All right, so now coming out from the middle right here, a little bit off the middle, this is our first tower vertical. That's going to be the biggest tower here. This is going to be like this big. It's very medieval. It's really cool. Now, this is but this is this should be going straight up and down. Mine's slanting a little bit, so I'm going to redraw it. That's why we draw it light, you guys. That's why I draw it light, so it's no big deal to erase and fix it. I want to make sure this goes straight up and down. I'm looking at the side of my paper, and we got it. So I'm going to make this go up, and then I'm going to draw. Now the top, the top cut is going to kind of go out just a bit here. And then it kind of goes in, and then it's a it's a spiral. It's a peak, right? The skinny peak at the top. And you know what? I need to make mine skinnier, so I'm gonna have it come in about right here. I'm gonna have it come in about right there. And there's a a spark on the top. Wow! I just barely had enough room there. Pretty cool. Now, so so coming down from here. Well, I'm not completely happy with this one. I'm not happy with this one. Here's what I need to do. I need to make it a little bit lower because I did something something wrong here. I'm gonna I want to curve this one. And then I think I think I have to come in a little bit here. That's what I need to do. And then I need to curve this. Okay, I'm looking at the source here. You see. See, I'm working on the top here, and there's a little more detail I want to get into this one. So uh, that's that's why we use our eraser. No big deal. So from right here, so th this this one's going to come out just a little lip right here, and then and then we're going to draw. But see, this I'm not happy with that side here because the lip comes out. All right, a little too much. The nuances are important. All right, so we're going to get we'll get our little tower there looking good. I like it. You guys like it? Draw Artemis. That's right. I've got to look back at the comments up here. Uh, John, thank you for saying that. Jacqueline, thank you. Uh, 
Well, thank you, Emma, for your comments, Gabe. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Uh, is your show still available through PBS, Matt asks? Nope. And that's right. Thank you, John. John, you're like our uh, 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 John. You're you're like my mediator here. Plus, you're doing a little comic comic routine on there, huh? Pretty funny. All right, coming down here. So I'm going to put the next layer. Okay, I'm going to put this. There's next layer here. I'm structuring it in, and then behind here, look at behind here. I'm going to put another tower. All right, and so behind here, so this will be another tower about right here. It's it's further away. So this one has this its peak here. Okay, and then so back here, we're just we're blocking it in, and then we'll erase. Uh, call me YouTube. So John AK, are you Patricia? Sorry about that. Now, come up here. Let's, I've got to focus. I, I get distracted with the comments. I'm so glad you guys, I have Kelly on Facebook and John's helped me out with uh, YouTube. Appreciate that. Keeping it all uh, calm. Uh, on YouTube, Beth Ann says, hello from the Vandellen Kids. Thank you, guys. Well, if you if this is your first day joining us, there's over uh, over 60 for sure. I think there's about 70 on YouTube and on Facebook. I also remember have um, summer art camp coming up. I hope you guys sign up for my virtual summer camp. Zoom, our Zoom fine arts camp. It's going to be awesome. I hope you sign up for my Mark Kisser's Draw 3D membership. 500 lessons, you guys. A good way to get through summer. Here's the code. Kissler 75 off. 75% off for you right here, okay? All right. So now it's back to our, our castle. And this one's the Alcazar de Sejovia. All right. So uh, let's clean this up. All right. Now, this is fun. We're getting the castle shape in here. And this one has a little bit of a of a kind of a ramp going here. And I'm going to finish this uh, the arch back here. Now back behind here, the castle kind of gets a uh, little side. Now over here, this one kind of comes down from about right here. This one kind of comes down. And over here, this is there's a there's another tower. Over here, there's another tower. I'm going to put another one over here. You can kind of see this one coming up here. And I'm going to draw. So this one, this one has another, another peak to it. And this archway comes down right there. Okay, it's kind of cool, kind of a neat perspective. So I like that little wall as it comes down right here. All right. So um, now we just focus the detail and we can blend it and shade it and add windows all you want. Just enjoy the process and have fun with it. And you shade it, punch it out. I'm simplifying it, but it just makes it, you still keep the magic of it, right? You still keep the magic of it. So we have that back one back there. And this back one is is all darker, uh, according to the picture I'm looking at. And then this back wall back here is definitely all, it's darker still. And uh, you're going to shade the side of that castle. The top is definitely a little bit darker. And this this top up here is darker. You guys having fun? Look at I'm not looking at the uh, hey Katie Shalupa de Jong. Uh Katie, yet yeah, the castles are a little bit harder than they look, but they're fun. You can print up pictures. See uh, when I want to draw something, I go to the internet and I just print pictures up and then I draw. All right, and then you can darken these in. I'll be posting a much darker version 
like I did. Remember, remember, like if I start with, remember, I start light with the boxes, and then I add, I, I just spend another hour or two on my drawings after the show, and I hope you guys can do that too. Now, this one has two windows on it, and so it has a window here and a window here. And then I'm going to shade this. And apparently down here, there's another window here. And down here, over on this side, there's a window or, uh, you know, these archway windows. Now, remember, this was medieval back in 1120 A.D. Can you believe that? 1120. Uh, let me see, uh, Andrew. I'm not sure what Andrew's question is, but I'm gonna. I've got to stay with my drawing. I'm not gonna. Can't spend a lot of time on comments today because these are. This is a little more advanced drawing, so and I wanted to make it look cool for you guys. And then we can add a little value here. And add a little value, a little shadow. You guys loving it? And the top here, of course, is going to I'm going to darken in that top. All right. And I'm shading the left side. See, I'm shading opposite the light source. So this is a good one for the stompy. This is a really good one for the stomp. But you blend it. Now we're looking at this one, so we're seeing it. Uh, from our point of perspective, our point of view, or how we're seeing it, they're looking at it. Okay, that's cool. Uh, wonderful. Now, I want to add a little more detail to the wall. So this this is our detail, and it has it has these this uh, darker edge here. And it goes right up here to that. And so I'm going to use my Stompy, and I'm going to darken that edge in. So you can dip it in here. All right, now. Isn't that cool? So now comes the very interesting part. So what, this is actually a cliff here. All right. This is going to be really cool. I think you guys are going to like this. See, we're going to draw this crazy roadways that comes towards you. So on this one, let's come about right here. I'm going to draw have a, the, where the road comes out, okay? So the road's going to come out. It's going to come down towards you right here, come down towards you. It's going to turn direction. We're going to use foreshortening. You see, you see how, the, how the road zigzags as it comes towards you? You can see, probably see it better on this one. You see how the, how the road zigzags through the snow? So we're going to do a, a, an interpretation of that, okay? So we come down here and then let's turn the corner. And so one, there, there's one coming down here. There's two. That's coming down here. And then I'm going to do another one. There's one. I'm just, I'm keep referring back to my drawing here. Uh, coming down see we're using alignment southwest southeast southwest over here turn it in southeast and then i'm gonna do one final one right here it comes down in southwest okay is that cool do you love it all right now Back here, we're going to start small. It's going to get bigger as it comes toward you. So watch this. You, you spread it out. It gets bigger as it comes toward you. That's foreshortening. All right. It gets a little bit bigger. Watch this. It's going to come down here. And we get a little bit bigger. We're going to, uh, you know, mess muck with this up with our imagination. This is not exactly like the photo, but... We're going to get that general idea. It gets bigger as it comes towards you, see? Isn't that cool? And the, uh, you know, 
I don't like it being so so exact. I'm going to redo this. I want to I want to have some more fun with this. I want to use a more variety. See, that's why we draw it light. If you don't like it, if you don't like it, no problem. You have an eraser, just erase it. Let's, let me try this one more time. I'm going to try this one more time. Uh, so, yeah, guys, Matt, John, Gabe, everybody, let's keep the... Uh, uh, Let's keep the drawings. Let's keep the discussion based on drawings and drawing questions. I like the chat box not to be a, uh, you know, a, a chat room. Let's keep focused on the drawing, guys. Everybody on the on uh, YouTube, everything's about about this drawing. Questions about what you're drawing. I want you to draw with me, okay? Look at I'm the teacher trying to keep you guys focused, okay? And please don't share personal information. Please keep it very very. Uh, generic and polite. Now watch this. Here we go. I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to make this one stretch out a little bit more. I think I'm just going to I'm going to kind of make this one go way out. I think I'll go way out and then I'll have it come in do a little closer one. See? I think I'm just going to uh, make it a little more va variation here. There. A little more variety. There. I like that one better. I like this one better. All right, now, here we go. So the, I hope you guys that didn't get frustrated with that because things change. It's a very dynamic process, what we're doing here. Now, this roadway, you can barely see it. It comes from behind here, see? The roadway comes out from behind here. All right, and then we, we're going to draw the edge of the cliff. And then we're going to draw like this funky, these, these cliff edges coming down here, see? This cliff edge here, and this cliff here. You guys love this? See this? And you can put lots more detail on here. This is going to be really cool. You see, we're just drawing this these cliffs, and you could put snow. Isn't this is cool? So I'm going to zoom this out so you can see the whole. Uh, So zoom out here. Yeah, these are all photographs. I'm working off my my photos from uh, uh, Google. You know, I search for castles. I got one medieval. I got one from the uh, 14th century England, and then I have a, a contemporary castle. Well, contemporary. It's still built hundreds of years ago in America. All right. So we're, I'm going to let you guys work on the detail. That one. See, we work on the detail. You can put shady nooks and crannies. It's going to be just so cool. And I'll just I'll just kind of put a little bit of value, but I want to I want to move on to our next one. It's a really cool one. And again, I'll add more detail to these drawings and post it on Facebook and I'll post it on Instagram and I'm trying to get more active on Twitter, okay guys? So, you're darkening in here. Now, you folks on Facebook you parents out there, if any, if you're, if you don't want all that dialogue going on, um, if you don't want all that dialogue going on, um, just shut off the comments, okay? All right, now I'm going to draw the cliff. So this is our last week. It's, this is bittersweet, you guys. This is our last week of our sixty plus. Episodes. I need somebody to count how many actual drawings we've done. I need a. I need an accurate number. Does anybody have an accurate number? And we can shade. We're going to shade all these. How many? I don't know. So I know it's over sixty. We started like around March thirteenth. And so here, look at. I'm blending the shading. And. Uh, Put more value here, and I'm gonna. I'll add a lot more detail, but you can see we're gonna finish that up later. I'm so happy, you guys. Fifty-seven right now from Katie. Rowan's got sixty. I don't know how many. All right, so we have this castle, the Bodium Bo Bodium Castle. We have the Alcazar Castle from Spain, and now this one. This one down here is I'm going to work on a, a different one. And this one, I'm going to drink some water. 
And this one's going to be, oh, yeah. Here we go. I was going to do New Schweinstein. Look at, I love New Schweinstein right there. But I've decided because I love this archway. And I don't know what the name of this castle is. If you guys know it, if you guys know the name of this castle, let me know. All right, let me zoom this guy in. Here, let's take a look at the whole page. I like that. That's looking cool. All right, so we have that. Now let's zoom in uh, YouTube. You guys, there's YouTube. Uh, there's YouTube. Hey, Mario! Mario's in the house. You're, you've been cleaning, huh? 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 You're doing your what? I'm prepping my cart. Oh, because you, you already made your, your solution, huh? No, you haven't done that? Oh, I thought I, I thought I smelled some uh, chemicals. No, not yet. Well, wow, that's, that's scary. I'm, I'm smelling chemicals and there's no chemicals in the air. That's, that's scary. All right, here we go. We're ready. Mario, Emma from Scotland says, Mario. Diane says, Mario. Uh. Beth Ann, my kids went last week and are excited about it, but I'm not sure e e the email made it through. Beth Ann, just send me another email. Send me another email. We'll get it out to you. If I missed it, my apologies, but be patient with me and send me another email. Make sure in the subject line you say, please send us the PDF. We're working on it. We're, we're going to get caught up, okay? Thanks for your patience. Here we go. I'm going to focus on this drawing now. So this one... I don't know the name of it, but I'm going to start with like a two-point perspective drawing. I'm going to put a, I'm going to put the horizon line about right here in the middle. I'm just going to block this one in, so you guys can see it. I'm going to make sure it's all focused for you guys. And this is pretty much of a, a, a two-point perspective drawing. So I'm going to put the one edge over here. And I'm going to put the other edge of the castle. I need room for the, 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 the ramp. So I'm going to put it about right, right here. Make sure I have room for the ramp. And the ramp, the ramp will come down. I'm thinking I have enough room there. Is that enough room? All right. So this will be the edge. So the middle of it is going to be, this will be the middle tower. And this will be the other edge of the middle tower. This is going to be really cool, you guys. So I just start with four vertical lines, trying to position them, see? All right, now, the bottom of the castle. So the, 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 the center of the castle is going to be right here. This will be the center. This will actually be the top of the, the peak up here, about right here. All right, so this is the center. So I'm going to block it in, and our, our vanishing point is going to go off this way. All right, and the vanishing point is going to go off this way. So that'll be the bottom of the castle. And then the top of the castle, pretty much where the peaks are, is about right, right here. These kind of slant down away from us. Kind of slant down just as a guideline. Does that make sense? Remember how these go off to a vanishing point? All right, now... I'm gonna I think I'll move this down just a little bit because we gotta draw eh, about right here. I'm gonna curve the top and then I'm gonna have I'm gonna have like this edge, this four shortened edge coming across here. You can be really light and sketchy, okay? And then from here, this is our top of the peak, right? So I'm gonna Look back at our source. You see how, how it has this really interesting kind of bell shape right there? So I'm gonna I wanna uh, I, I do want to get that shape. So I'm gonna bell it in. And then this one kind of bells in. And there's a little spire at the top. I think I got it. And then down here, this one has it comes down and it has like an an uh you have the archway. I'm just blocking in that wall. And then this one, I'll have that wall slant down here. We'll block in that wall as it comes down. 
And then this will be the back tower. I'm going to put a tower back here. So this tower is a little bit taller than the, the near guy. A little bit thinner. I'm going to go ahead and put that rim around it. And uh, the center line, make sure the center line here, watch as it goes in, it comes up. Goes in, it comes up. All right, that's kind of cool. That's working. I like it. Now this tower over here is much fatter. It's much bigger than that one. So I gotta, I gotta, uh, I'm gonna push this one out. This one's, this 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 is not. See, I'm looking at it. This one's smaller, but see how fat this back one is back here. I want to keep it kind of true to the proportions. And you just go back and forth. Just erase your drawing. I'm going to curve the top. You guys having fun with this? Let's see. You guys enjoying drawing with me? I am. Curve the top. I am. Our last week of the uh, drawing lessons, our hour of pencil power. Uh, give me a 1 through 10. How are, this is a little more advanced than we usually do. This is a little more advanced. But... Uh, you guys wanted castles, so I thought we'd do a day of castles. So I'm going to go ahead and draw draw this guy back here. And it's still, to me, it's still not. It should be bigger and bolder. So this one, I'm going to erase this and take another swing at it. It needs to be really pronounced. Much, much bigger and much bolder. So I'm going to I'm going to move it out even further and make it even taller. I'm really going to see this. I don't, I'm just really, this time I know I got to make it bigger and bolder. All right. So then I draw the foreshortened circle. And I, now I know that this is going to be much higher. And it's going to come up here. So now we just go ahead and zoom this up. We go ahead and. Draw that. So, okay, that, that that works for me, you guys. That works for me. So we're making progress. Let's see, 50, we have about eight minutes of work on this one. So I know that this one has what's interesting on this one, you guys, right here. Watch this. This one, when it comes down, it, ha it, it has a, uh, it, it kind, kind of comes in right here. Look at this. It comes in a little bit. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so it comes down, comes in, comes down, comes in. All right, so we're getting our getting our shape, and then it's going to have us this row of. It has this row of uh, arrow turrets. No. Actually, these are supports. These are um, those are uh, flying uh, uh, flying buttresses here. Oh, look at there's Flash the cat. Now we get to work on the archway before I, I'm not going to be able to finish this whole one, but I'm going to give it a good shot. The archway is going to be up here toward the top. So I'm going to draw, draw this really cool doorway. And then it, it slants down here. See, slants down and then it comes across and then it comes down here. And then there's, there's these like big posts right here. In the front, so this archway is it comes down, comes across, and then it comes over. Now, this way over here, you can see the other side over here. You can have this one comes down. I've got to match that same angle of the ramp. And then the perspective, it kind of, you don't see much here, but then you see that the other, when it comes down over here, see that? Does that make sense? This is horizontal, but then it opens up a bit here. And then you'll see the other side of the, you'll see this other uh, post over there. Isn't that cool, you guys? All right, well, we're getting there. Uh, that means you're really using your license to flop. That's right, you guys. You can make and erase as many changes as you want. It don't it don't worry. Uh, 
lots of eraser work today. That's that's fine. That's what your eraser is for. Just enjoy the process and work it and add shading. If you want to see this, the end result of this one, be sure to see the post because I'm not even going to come close to finishing all these. I've got a lot of work to do on each one of these because when I finish this, it's going to look like this one. See, it's going to look like this one when I'm done. I'm going to put background. I'm going to put detailed shading. This was a great start. And uh, all right, guys. Uh, uh, oh, well, once again, YouTube blows up and goes crazy. But I, I don't worry. I'll uh, thank you guys for drawing with me today. Uh, you can add more details. Be sure to see how I finish this up. Later on when I post it, okay? Thank you guys for drawing with me. And I'm going to try an experiment here, uh, John. I want to try an experiment here. Uh, there we go. And one second here. All right, well. There we go. I think I just blocked her. Ha! Huh, there we go. Ha! Huh, I figured out how to how to block a uh, a spammer on YouTube. So that was a that was a challenge. I finally did it. I'm so proud of myself. Mario, say hi. This is our. Hi. We only have a couple days left. And boy, this one we didn't have time to finish it, but we're going to. Hey, hey, hey. We were inspired by that castle. What's that? Yes, absolutely. You can draw one tomorrow, too, if you want. We just ran out of time today. Um, they, Mario, they're all saying hi, Mario. Remember, guys, sign up for Kistler uh, at uh, draw3d.com. Use the discount code for it's 500 lessons. You have mini marshmallow lessons for the six, seven, uh, five, six, seven year olds. You have beginning levels, you have intermediate levels. It's good for, for uh, five years up to 105 years up. It's an amazing series. There are uh, hour, hundreds of hours of drawing. It's awesome. So they use that code. One is Kistler50 for 50% 50 off. Kistler75 off is for 75% off. Thank you. Please, guys, I hope, I hope, I really want you to sign up for my virtual summer camp. I hope you do. I hope you do. It'll be awesome. Uh, and, uh, oh, Mario wants me to show him. You show you guys this. Don't forget Mario's Green Monster. And he has his own GoFundMe page, which is... Uh, we don't have it, but we we know. Oh, here it's right here. You go. You can pitch in for Mario's dream right there. Awesome. All right, Mario, you say goodbye. Take Bye. us out, Mario. Bye, guys. We'll we'll end it on the castles. Thanks for showing that, Mario. All right, guys, you're great. Stay creative. Uh, tomorrow we're drawing elephants. Lots of elephants tomorrow. Bye, guys.